All right, let's uh, go back then to St. George's Cathedral where the remains of uh, the late Archbishop Desmond Tutu uh, have been lying in uh, state. Uh, mourners have been paying their respects since 9 a.m. this morning. Our reporter, Lulama Macha, is uh, standing by to give us the latest as viewing of his uh, body uh, will close at the top of the hour. That's at uh, 5 p.m. Lulama, I'm sure you can see from where you are in terms of uh, the queues and people still waiting to go in. I mean, I would imagine there's still quite a few people wanting to go in, but of course time... Uh, running out at this uh, point. Talk to us about uh, what's happening outside uh, the cathedral at this hour. Yes, uh, thanks Flo. Uh, let me start by asking my cameraman Marcus to zoom out um, at some of the people coming in, if I can step out of the shot. Uh, the time now um, is quarter to five. Uh, we know that they are being sanitized there before they come in um, with the time at quarter to five. And we know that um, the, the doors here at the cathedral are going to close at five o'clock and that will be the end of day one of the public viewing. And then it will start again uh, tomorrow. Yes, and uh, on, the, on my left hand side, at the back of Marcus, unfortunately he cannot take that shot. I see the pallbearers uh, coming in, uh, they will come in, that means that now they are preparing uh, for the, for the, for, for the, um, for the hairs uh, to, to leave because this, pu this process for today um, is finalized. Another thing, Flo, that I must say is that um, as the clock is ticking for five o'clock for day one to finalize, the mayor of the city of Cape Town, Jordan Hill Lewis, when I spoke to him earlier on, he indicated that at the time more than 1,500 uh, people um, have come in today to pay their last respects to the arch. If I can ask Marcus uh, to zoom in on my left hand side. To zoom out, there are the pole bearers. They are coming in. So there's an indication that uh, something is going to happen, that maybe uh, in a couple of minutes they will take out um, the, the coffin. Uh, the hearse has been standing here the whole day. It didn't leave since this morning. It's been standing there. So you can see, Flo, that activities, uh, other activities besides the mourners uh, that have been still coming in, uh, there, there are activities that are going to happen, which means now the day is coming uh, to a close. All right. Uh, uh, Lulama, just, you, just, as, uh, just before we wrap up our conversation, uh, just a quick one in terms of uh, you know, anyone else uh, you've uh, spotted uh, that may be familiar to us uh, or the, the, our viewers. Uh, in the last hour, of course, you were able to have a conversation with the city of Cape Town's uh, mayor, who'd also, in fact, uh, come in on uh, day one uh, to view the, uh, the body of uh, the archbishop. Anyone else you are uh, able to talk about at this time that you've been able to see outside, uh, uh, the, outside the church? Not, not high-profile people, Flo, that I've seen today, only the mayor of Cape Town. But I cannot say that uh, there were none, because at some point in time they, it, it rained and we had to go um, and, and hide and cover ourselves from the rain. And at some point we had to go and take our accreditation. So at some point there was a couple of, of, of hours that we were not here. And uh, maybe we've missed out on some of the high profile people that have come. I don't know. Maybe they are coming tomorrow because there are indications that some uh, are coming to some high profile people are coming uh, tomorrow. But so far today, uh, none that I've seen is just your ordinary people. The majority are, are people who were young at the time. Arch was at the forefront of the struggle. As some, there were students in the institutions here in Cape Town. Others are elders and other church people uh, from different uh, d denominations who came here to pay their last respects.